Do you think it's one side or the other? Uh, maybe right a little bit more. Okay. So I could do the same principles where I'm actually, you know, bringing the two bones closer together, but it's just not as practical with the job because a lot of patients have a sensitization toward lateral movements or even opening. So the only thing you're going to do is find a tender point and just merely squeeze the skin together. So the masseter elevates the mandible, right? So I'm just going to squeeze superior to inferior. And again, I can do that skin rotation one way or the other, whichever way loosens up tone. And then just hold that for about, again, 30 to 60 seconds or slow. And let's just say I held that to 30 to 60 seconds already for 10 time lapse. And then I'm going to slowly bring the skin back and then let go like that. Okay, so those, after that, now maybe they can handle a little ISTM to the jaw or maybe they can handle some jaw mobilizations because a lot of times people are so sensitized and the masseter is really hypertonic. I've had people who they can't relax their mandibles. Every time I go to mobilize their jaw, they're pretty much like biting my thumb off. This might... Uh, or if you, you know, it, it's an indication for this technique. If you look at someone, I, I look for mandible slow control of closing. And people who have really hypertonic masseter and temporalis, they can, they might be able to open slowly and limited, but if they close like a mousetrap, you might want to do some positional inhibition first to relax that masseter before you stick your thumb in there. All right, if you value your thumbs.